In this lesson, I want to show you how to quickly set up a tester theme so that you can experiment with the page templates in your WordPress theme. And so what we're going to do is take a look first at the themes page under the appearance menu. And um, you'll see I have already uploaded the tester theme uh, that I want to use and I just need to activate it. So I'll go ahead and click activate. And if I go ahead and look at the actual WordPress website here now. This is the tester theme. It's activated. A number of things need to be changed with it. Whenever you change a theme, if you've never used it before, you will uh, have to go in and reset the main primary menu and um, you may have to add uh, re-upload your header image and some other things to get your theme back to the way you want it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. Uh, again under the appearance menu. I'm going to go down to my menus. I had already created a menu called main and um, it's set up the way I want it and um, as you can see down at the menu settings at the bottom however it has not been set to the primary menu spot which in this particular theme is at the top of the page. Uh, just for your reference the theme I'm working with called tester theme is a child theme of 2012. So 2012 is the parent and tester theme is the child. And so it may look different if you're using a different parent theme uh, the way this is laid out. Okay, So I went ahead and activated that as my primary menu. And now if I come back here and refresh my WordPress page, I'll see that now I have my menu laid out the way I want to uh, with a few of these having drop-down menus. Okay, uh, One more thing, I need my header image, which before it was located up in here. I want that back in. So I'm going to come back to my appearance and header area and I'm going to choose, uh, choose an image from your media library because I know I've already uploaded it and sure enough it is right in here and that looks like it so I'm just going to go ahead and set that as header and um, I don't need to crop and publish it. I'm just going to go ahead and publish image as is and still need to go down to the bottom and click Save Changes. And once I've done that, if I come back here and refresh my WordPress site, I see now that I have the image where I want. So uh, the rest of this lesson, uh, it's divided into a few videos, but we're going to uh, edit the header, we're going to edit the footer, we're going to do a few other things with page templates in WordPress. But before we do that, uh, a major question a lot of people have um, getting started with a child theme and editing template pages or page template files is how do I get all these other page template files into my child theme which again is called tester theme. Um, it depends on what you want to do with a page template. In the example of my header and my footer I want to make exact copies of the header and footer as they exist in the 2012 parent theme and then I want to edit those slightly by adding or removing a few elements. And so what you need to do is make a, a complete copy of your header and footer files from the 2012 theme. Um, unfortunately you can't just drag them from the other theme. You can't just right click in here and make a new file. You have to somehow get a new empty file, PHP file, in this area. The easiest way to do that is going to be to go over to Notepad++ and just go ahead and make a empty file. For example, I have a file here that I've started called header.php and it's completely empty. I'm just going to go ahead and save this in a predetermined location on my own hard drive. drive. Uh, I've just created a WordPress folder and I'm calling it header.php. Let's just save that. And uh, as you can see, it's empty. I don't even need to put anything in it. And um, now, in order to get it onto the server, I'm going to have to use WinSCP or FileZilla, some kind of FTP program that I have on my computer. And I've already done that and logged in. And we see on the uh, left-hand side, here's this WordPress folder and here's that header PHP file that I just made. And on the right, I've logged in and here's my tester theme folder. I'm going to back up a little bit, go up a level, up a level. Okay, here's my WordPress installation. Okay. And again, where I'm putting these files is in WP Content. I'm finding the Themes folder. And inside my Themes folder, I have every theme I currently have installed. And again, um, I'm working with Tester Theme 
So that's where I want to go. Now I already have it, a header PHP file in there because I've already um, been working on this. I'm going to delete that right now just for demonstration purposes. And then um, now all I would do is if I wanted to create or work with a page template, I would just come in here and I would drag it over to this area. I'll say copy. It'll copy it in there. And now I have header.php. Um, let's go ahead back to WordPress now. And um, again, I'm in tester theme. Always make sure you're in the right theme when you're working with this. And I will come in here and here's the header file. And we'll see that it is an empty file, just as I just uploaded it. Great. Now I'm free to start editing it. But again, I don't want to edit it from scratch. I really want to make a complete copy of my 2012 header. It's really easy to do that. You can access every theme file from the pull down menu here. So I'm going to come back, go into 2012, select it. Okay, find the header here. There may be other header files, so you have to choose the correct one. It's just the one that says header.php here. And there's the entire file. You want to go Control A to select all, Control C to copy all. That would be on a PC, might be different on a Mac. And now go ahead back and go back to tester theme. I've just copied all the all the code in my header and I'm just going to come in and control V to paste and now I have a complete copy of the theme from excuse me the header file from 2012. Really none of this up here has to be changed at all. It's all a comment and um, just refers to what's in the file. You'll see a, a header theme simply has all the HTML that begins an HTML document, doc types, uh, a head, meta tags, uh, comes all the way down, starts the body of the HTML page, and then even has uh, a header image in here, etc. Okay, and most header.php files uh, begin with the beginning of the page in HTML and go all the way down to the wrapper tag, div tag, that begins the main content area. That's the way they're set up. Okay, so I've got that. I want to make sure I say update file. And um, now uh, I now have a complete copy of my header.php from my parent theme. And I can go uh, in there and start editing it and doing whatever I want to it. And whatever changes I make will now show up here. But just for just to make sure you understand, if you make a complete copy of your header file from your parent theme, you should see no changes to the actual website at this point. Okay, you've just made a complete copy of it and placed it in your child theme. Uh, one thing to be really aware of uh, from uh, with child theme uh, template files is that when you create a one of these and give it the same name as a template file in your parent theme, it completely replaces the same file in the parent theme. Okay, it doesn't just add on to that file or it can't just override certain parts of that file. It makes a, it just completely replaces it. Unlike the style sheet file, which you can add to just the parts that you want to override, it's not the way it works with these header, uh, excuse me, these template files. Okay. All right. So that's how we're getting started uh, editing our template files in our child theme. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to give you exact um, examples then of how to make some interesting edits to these files.